be that fat around and they're still spectacular to eat. Gathering in their communal car park, these young residents have come together to learn the art of creating a thriving garden. We're going to kick off now and start to get your hands a bit dirty. The apartment complex is run by Anglicare in Adelaide's inner southwest. It provides accommodation for young people at risk of homelessness after spending time in state care. In return for a small portion of their income, young people aged 18 to 25 are supported to live independently, with access to staff who can assist with managing household tasks like paying bills and cooking. Oh, I think it's so important for every young person, you know, to have um, people in their world that care about them and support them. You could just plant that as a whole thing. For young couple Haley and Xander, it's been life-changing. I was a DCP kid. Um, my mum and dad obviously weren't the greatest and my foster mum, when I turned 16, COVID was happening. She wasn't super chill with the disease spreading around. So at 16, I moved out. I was living in a caravan in somebody else's driveway. I was not in the best situation. It's quite an opportunity to be here. They've been living in the complex for a year and a half and say without it, they would have been forced to live on the streets. But now they have new opportunities, including planting their new garden. Having something self-sufficient down here that we can all contribute towards is really nice and it gets all of us together as a community, I feel. We started to have conversations with them around what they would like their space to look like. And one of the themes that we just kept hearing over and over again was a green space and just need a green space. The impact it's having is something researchers are hoping to quantify. A team from the University of Adelaide is looking at the project, examining the urban heat map effect and measuring the uplift in the residents' wellbeing. Think projects like this and tell people you can have an impact and you can uh, make a cooler space in your home. The research that we do have to date suggests that there is that connection between you know, caring for others, caring for the environment and that own self-care that we uh, do for ourselves. This garden is still very much in its infancy, but there are plans to add climbing and sprawling vegetables, a yarning circle with native bush tucker plants, hedges and colourful flowers. And the researchers hope the success of this complex will pave the way for more investment in similar projects. For the community here, it's simply an opportunity to develop new skills and flourish. You see a lot of people that have come from the worst of the worst, situations you couldn't imagine yourself in. And to see them in situations where they're providing for themselves, paying their rent, living comfortably, not falling to addiction or any hardship or anything like that that tends to plague these people, it really is inspirational. We just want to see young people thrive um, and have every opportunity they can. Nurturing new skills for a new life. Olivia Mason, ABC News.